Hey everybody. All right, these are the turkey breasts. I'm going to uh, put a little olive oil on it, a little salt and pepper, salt the cavity. Also gonna put the uh, rosemary thyme and rosemary thyme and sage on the inside uh, of the cavity if I can. Um, one turkey breast is going to cook over, I have a uh, rough cut uh, carrots, celery, onions, garlic, uh, also, I'll probably put a couple sprigs of the rosemary thyme and sage in here. That's just for flavor. Uh, as this cooks, it's just going to steam up through the turkey breast versus uh, the other turkey breast, which is going to cook in the, uh, the barrel smoker with no moisture in it. Uh, we'll see if there's a difference. Uh, I've always done this uh, when I've cooked turkeys out on a smoker, whether it's uh, my stick smoker, like my Oklahoma Joe, or um, or a vertical smoker or a water smoker. I've always done this um, to give it extra flavor and stuff. And I don't, I don't really know if it works or not. So I guess the best thing I'm going to find out is on this barrel smoker where there's no moisture at all, uh, if it actually helps or not. So both turkeys are basically exactly the same weight, exactly the same size. Um, so it's going to be pretty good, you know, tail. Uh, I'll be able to tell whether I like which one I like better. So anyway. I uh, thought I'd update you on what I'm doing right now. I'm about to have the coals going. Uh, they're, they're about ready. I'm going to go ahead and these turkeys have been sitting out on the counter for about two hours. But they're in that ice chest for two days. So they were they were about frozen. I mean, they were they were cold. cold. There's still a bunch of ice left. There's probably that 20 pounds of ice that I dropped in there. There's probably eight pounds of ice left in the thing. So um, I'm going to uh, get off here and uh, get busy on this real quick. I'll be... Uh, Popping back on in a couple minutes to uh, let you know what's going on.